recognition. Who's got some? Shout it out. Unmute yourself. All right, somebody's got to get something in here recognition wise. There is something to celebrate. I'll and go I'm, first. Yes, go. I want to recognize Catherine because she's been really consistent checking in with her challengers and she's been really excited about that and like sending me screenshots and stuff and I think it's awesome because sometimes it's easy to forget to like check in with your current clients and so good job on checking in with them and recognizing them and your consistency. Yes girl. Who else got some? Recognition, give it to me. Um, one of my challengers has been like killing it in her workout. She's also training for a triathlon and doing 90 free. So I'm super impressed with her. She's been like an athlete forever. So she's kind of used to that, but she's going for it and she's postpartum. So she has an eight month old. So I'm super proud of her. Awesome, Jamie. Any other recognition? She's not on right now. I think she's in class, but Pearl is going Emerald tomorrow officially. Mm -hmm. Yay. So exciting. I know there's some other Emeralds like so close. You guys are fighting for it. All right, am I cutting anybody else off? I got Jess's recognition and mine to do. Anybody? Okay. Jess has, um, she couldn't be on tonight last minute, but she wanted to shout out her team cup team is number 16 in, I guess the Southern region she'd be Texas. I don't know. Don't quote me. Where's Seth, Texas, South, South region. She didn't Central. Oh, damn it. Central. Okay. Um, and shout out to Morgan who hit 10 K cumulative earnings insert Beachbody disclaimer, Beachbody guarantees no level of income or success. It's all based on your hard work, diligence, or skill. But guys, so proof that like consistency over time and believing in yourself and plugging into this team, like you can make those financial goals happen. So super proud of you, Morgan. It's a reflection of the leader that you are. And I always say the income is a reflection of the impact you're making. So Big, huge virtual claps to her because that's a huge milestone and proof y'all can all do it. I also wanted to shout out my Team Cup team, Emily, Christine, Yana, Vilma. She's not on right now, but we're number 150 in the Northeast, which Northeast of Beachbody is like really big. So I'm super proud of you guys really stepping outside your comfort zone and taking Team Cup on. And then also I saw her on here. Oh, she went off. Um, we have a potential new coach, Catherine, listening in. Catherine with the C. So I'm excited that she's here. More Philly girls. Love it. Any other recognition? All right, guys. So I'm excited to talk to you guys tonight about social media. It is something that uh, I, when I first started, was like, I, like, what do I say? I don't know, does anybody even wanna to listen to me, you know? So I know we all have different experiences with social media and this is totally supposed to be an interactive call. So the first thing I want you to do is if you haven't taken a picture of your screen, get out your own phone, you are spending time here to learn and grow. So you better take a picture or a boomerang or a video, tag all your friends on here. The best part about being a coach is that we have each other, right? And so, it's really cool to show that you're a part of a team and tag your friends and reshare what they tag you in. That builds community and that starts building interest and curiosity and like, wow, Emily is not just sweating by herself. She's actually part of a larger team. So take your selfie, take your video, save it, and you can do all your fun, pretty stuff after the call so you guys can focus. So put your phones down after you got it, save it, take it off. Yes, I'm calling you out. I know my team's laughing at me because they know. All right. So I want you guys to post in the chat your biggest struggle with social media right now, because I could get on here and tell you all the tips and all the things, but like, I want to know what you guys 
are struggling with most now because I have a huge list of like things that I would like to share, but I want to make sure that is actually aligning to what you want to hear. All right, Jamie's is finding something to post every day and having new topics. Perfect. What else you guys got? What is the hardest about social media? In your timeline, not your stories, knowing what genuine comments to make on people's posts. Perfect. Transitioning from just engaging to inviting. Love that. What else you guys got? Or if you are comfortable with social media, what was kind of your number one like hesitation in the beginning? Morgan said finding new connections. All right, we'll take one or more, one or two more. Emily said keeping up with the messages and combos, and Jamie said being judged. Okay, all things that has anybody else ever heard something that somebody else said or thought, right? Like we've all felt like, am I going to be judged? Should I post this or should I not? Should I say this or should I not? And I'm going to go from like a very basic level tonight because I know there's a wide range of coaches. So for some of you, you may have heard this 5 million times, but maybe you need to hear it again in a different way from a different person because guys, social media is our gateway to connecting to our people. Like I look on the screen and Emily would not be in my life. Jess Carrier would not be in my life. I mean, Jess has come and stayed with me multiple times over the last year. We wouldn't do that if it weren't for her connecting to social media from some of my coaches that I invited back in the day and had them a part of my team. So there's this big web of opportunity. And I think that's the first thing when you think about social media, instead of thinking, oh, or like, what do I say today? You have to go into it of like, I get to go on here and interact with people that I want in my life. So like, I don't go on social media and think, oh, I have to post today. What should I say? I go on there and think, okay, what have my challengers been struggling with? What have the people in my messages been telling me what's holding them back? What am I seeing on my feed of people saying? What are they talking about? What do my eyes stop at? What am I thinking about during the day? So the first exercise that we're going to do, if you guys don't already know your five things, it's time to come up with them. And what I mean by five things is five things that have nothing to do with Beachbody and most coaches, this is very hard for you guys to do because you're like, I already know I need to post my workouts and I need to post my energize and I need to post my Shakeology. But when you think of a person, like say a postpartum mom who's a month or two after having a baby or somebody that's getting over an injury that mentally is very low, do you think that they want to talk to you about losing weight right off the bat? Not really, because that's like a really open, vulnerable thing. And if you've never met them before, they're definitely not going to open up to you about them binge eating at night or them not working out for the past three months and feeling really crappy or their mental health being down in the dumps. That's a very like personal conversation. And that's really special as a coach. But we can't get to that point unless we are willing to be open and sharing the things that matter the most to us. So if you know your five things, I'd love for you to share them in the chat. But what I want you guys to come up with is when your friends think of you, what are the things that they go to you for advice? What are the stores you just like love to go to? What are the things that you could talk about for hours that have nothing to do with workouts, have nothing to do with nutrition? Okay, maybe one or two of your things are slightly related, but what are those five things that you can make connections off of? So I'll give you an example. For me, I am from Philadelphia, but I've lived all over the like Southern Southeast area. So I've lived in Atlanta, I've lived in Virginia, I've lived in South Carolina, I've lived in Maryland and I've lived in Pennsylvania. So I connect with people in those areas that like to move around, right? And specifically for me, I'm a huge football fan for the Eagles and the Hokies. So if you look at my team, there's a lot of Eagles and Hokies fans because those are the things that I consistently share, right? And it makes it an easier connection 
And I don't get messages of like, why are you messaging me? Because we, we already have that connectivity point that we both love Philly or we both lived in Atlanta and we've gone to all the same places, right? And there's a call we did a couple weeks ago, Jess and I talking about how we connect with people. So I'm not gonna go specifically into that. But when you think of your social media, you have to think of who, what, where, when, why, how right? Just like a movie. The movie has different characters. It has different scenes. It has different timing. It has different emotions. It has different outfits. Your social media is just like a movie. You're like, oh, but what do I have to share? Like, what do I have to offer? So for those of you on my team that have done this, what is one of your five things? Put it in the chat so that other people can see what I'm talking about. Because like my moms always like to come and say, well, I'm a mom. Okay, but a mom of a two month old girl who's been in the NICU is way different than a mom of an 18 year old girl who's about to go off to college, right? You have very different struggles and strengths there. So Noelle knows she's not allowed to say boy mom. She's better be damn more specific than that, right? She, I should just call her out. Jessica Carrier means physical therapy, Disney, all great things. No one knows, two-year-old boy mom, perfect. But she probably also specifically to her little boy has specific things that he struggles with. Maybe has a special condition that she's working on or a special skill or a food he's not eating, right? Like these are phases that our kids go through that we can have connectivity points with other moms at the same time. Um, Emily brought up a great one, migraines. I really like having something in your life that's um, a struggle for you that you are working on overcoming or you're just working on in general. For, specifically for me, this past year, um, I, taught, I opened up and started talking about therapy. And I can't tell you guys how many messages behind the scenes I get about how do I find a therapist? How did you approach that? Like, what did that look like? And that trust factor is built then. So like going to an invite for a challenge group is no big deal because we already had this like super emotional conversation about therapy, you know? So all great things, all unique to you. Like Jessica, Jess Carrier said, um, nursing because she's the NICU nurse. I wouldn't know anything to talk about nursing because I've never had a child. So that would not be something that I would post on my social media. So you guys can see already how different each of us is so when you think about a network of 400,000 coaches, you have something special to give, right? You have a special story, you have a special background, you have special strengths and struggles, but you have to be sharing them consistently for people to truly understand that. Because there was a quote last year from Tony Robbins that said, someone has to see something 17 times before they say yes. 17 times, guys. So when you're doing this, you have to think about that. Like you might have thought you talked about your benefits of how Shakeology has really helped your gut health and like how that's gone worked for you or your transformation photo. Like when's the last time you shared a transformation photo? Was it six months ago? Cause nobody's gonna remember that. I hate to break it to you. For me, a rule is I show a transformation photo and every two swipes, at least, there is some sort of proof of someone on my team getting results. Why? Because that's the bread and butter of my business, right? So people don't know unless you tell them. And I have found over the years that emotion is what connects people, right? Like we're talking about movies, we're talking about stories. So one of the things I see a lot of coaches tend to do when we have a new program come out or something they really love. I was just talking to Emily about this. Y'all, from here on out, I don't want to see the words Shakeology, Energize, Nine Week Control Freak. This is my opinion. You could take it with what you think. But if they see those words, what makes you different? Like who on here drinks Energize? Probably all of us, right? Who drinks Shakeology? Who does nine week control freak? So what makes you different by saying those words? Right? Nothing. 
but I know that Jamie's a mom and doesn't have time. I know that Jess works 12 hour shifts and doesn't have time. I know that Emily is working and going to different clients and doesn't have time. All different reasons they don't have time, all ways to make the program work for them. Do you see what I'm getting at? So curiosity is so key on your social media guys. So key. And it's, it's literally the way that I build connection. Um, funny story, and I just thought of this, Jess is gonna laugh at me. We were having conversation this summer and she's like, oh my gosh, it was hilarious. Uh, this guy was talking about glow juice and seeing glow juice on my stories every single day. My team calls Energize Glow Juice, right? And after an hour, these two guys were Googling glow juice. They finally asked her, what is glow juice? Glow juice I just made up. It's not real, right? It's energized, but they couldn't figure it out. And that's what you want, guys. You want people to come to you and ask the questions and share what they're struggling with and share what they need help with and open up so that you can actually align a package to what they need. But if you just put out nine week control freak, join Shakeology, drink this stuff, you're just like every other coach that has the same tools out there. So I want you guys to think about how can you be creative with the things that you share? I know moms like to call energized go-go juice or mom juice or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't have to be super creative, but you want to think about the way you're talking about things, especially around Beachbody to make it curious. Um, another thing when it comes to storytelling is vulnerability and being a positive light. And I think what a lot of people struggle with when they say they don't know what to post is you get too worried about what other people think. So most of my posts, I start with a question because a question opens up a conversation, right? Like when you come home and you talk to your spouse, what do you probably ask them? How is your day or your dog? What are they doing or your kids? Like, what did they learn today, right? You're asking a question. So what if you started treating your social media the same way and opening up the conversation for people to interact? Doesn't mean they're going to, you don't expect anything in return, but this is a way for you to start storytelling and start opening up the dialogue on your page for people to come in and participate, for people to come in and know that you wanna know their opinion, you wanna know more about them, you wanna know how they connect with you because the idea is that you're doing the work behind the scenes to follow new people, to come in and interact on their posts, to invite them. And at the same time, they're seeing you consistently show up, consistently be open and vulnerable, consistently share the things that you're learning, the things that you're struggling with, the things that you're celebrating. And you get to decide what those things are, right? But that, that constant um, openness in a way that works for you, right? Because like, the things that I've shared today, I would have never shared four years ago. It's the personal development that I've done over the past six years that there's not many things I won't talk about at this point because I don't really care what anybody else thinks. Like you can unfollow me if you don't wanna follow me, right? Like, I don't care. So I would challenge you guys to really just start showing up every day. Like what if for the next 30 days, you took your five things and said, you know what, every day I'm gonna show up. And I, it's like the same thing with your workouts. I promise you, when you just make that promise to yourself and you say, I'm going to show up every day on my social media, like I show up every day for my health and fitness because there's somebody else out there that's struggling, that's worse off than me, that needs to see my message. Those days when you're like, I don't know what to say, this post seems stupid is the day that somebody needs to hear it right? Like Noelle just messaged me last week and she was like, you don't know how much I need to hear your posts. And I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about, but glad it helped you. <laughs> like those are the things that you want to evoke in what you're sharing. Um, another thing that I would challenge you guys to do is remember that you're part of a really awesome team. And I don't think we use each other enough so like as we're doing the new coach panels and you get to know someone and maybe you connect with someone that you never knew on this team, shout them out, 
highlight them. Like how good does it feel when your coach tags you and celebrates you? Today's Woman Crush Wednesday. That's a great opportunity to show someone else's transformation on your page, to show the results that are happening, but also to show that you have an awesome community of women that is freaking rad that you may have never met before, that we don't have the opportunity to be in person right now, but you can still post about and you can still share about because you're a part of this team. So I really challenge you guys to like, Use the team photos of your upline, use the events and paint the picture for what you're working towards. You know, if Punta Cana is on your vision board for this year, you damn well better find an awesome success club picture and share about that vision and what you're working towards because nobody knows unless you tell them. Nobody knows. And you guys aren't pushing for success club just to get the points, right? That's not why we're here. We're here to make an impact. And we're here to build freedom for our families. Don't be bashful in sharing the vision that you have through the impact of your business because it, it speaks it into an existence and your social media is a way for you to hold yourself accountable to the goals you have up here. Like, you know, it's very easy to like tell your coach on a one-on-one -on -one call or post it in the coach thread, this is my goal. But what if you put your goal on your social media publicly? When's the last time you guys did that, right? I know I'm calling myself out on this one too, because I haven't in a while. But those things, it's like showing your workout every day. You have to show up and do it because people know if you don't. What if you made a goal that, hey, I'm going to post here every day for the next 30 days. You can call me out if I don't. Just start with that. Very simple. All right. So let's talk about some tools um, and make sure you guys know about them and then we'll wrap this up. So um, just a reminder in the Google Classroom, there is a tab called resources. I know Emily will love me for this, but um, every month we put in Instagram promos, videos you guys can use. So those are things that you can use to market the next group, to market the themed group, to invite people to do what you're doing. I know I post it up on my stories once a week, but if you go to my stories tonight and look, you'll see that it's not just the video, that I personalize it with fun music, I add a poll, I add pictures of my team, because I don't want to do what everybody else is doing, right? I want people to feel the vibe of who I am and what I'm about and what they are saying yes to. So Instagram wants you to use the tools. They want you to use the polls. They want you to use the quizzes. They want you, and I'm talking about stories right now. They want you to use the music and things like that. Um, I know I got the new font, uh, font speed thing in my stories today. So when I think of my stories versus my, post, I'm doing one post a day on my feed, period, always. And then in my stories, I'm doing about 10 to 15 a day. Pretty simple. That's how I think about it. So my pretty pictures and my like eye stoppers are going on my feed and the down and dirty background of my life is going into my stories. Pretty simple. You don't have to do a lot with it because we're all busy and we don't have time for that stuff, right? So keep it simple and don't don't think you have to add tons of words and like, you have to think about it. If you guys want to grow a team, could your team do what you're doing right now? And I check myself on this a lot. I'm like, if I'm asking my team to do all this crazy stuff, they're probably never going to say yes. So when you keep it simple and you keep it fun and you keep it energetic, people want to be a part of that, right? They want to know more about what you're doing because you're being curious, but you're also being super cool and yourself. Um, we talked about no beach body lingos. All right. Another thing is to like break things down. So a lot of times we like to post like a photo of our dinner, right. And like show that we made something, but what if you guys walk step by step through what you're doing and how you made it, or you got off this team call and actually talked on your stories about what you learned and why you spent time here. You know, we have to remember that people are like this, they're squirrel brains. So if you want them to join your team or join your group, you got to constantly walk them through the who, what, where, when, why, how. So why are you on this team call tonight? I know you guys aren't here just to like 
hang and look cute, right? You're here because you want to learn because maybe you don't know that much about social media and maybe you're a new coach and maybe you're a beginner. Maybe you just needed some light in your life besides sitting and watching Netflix tonight. And that's totally cool too. But I challenge you guys to like talk through those things you're doing and why you're doing them because it matters. Most of the world right now is sitting watching Netflix and doing nothing. They're not growing. They're not learning. They're not getting outside of their comfort zone. And so it's your job to show them what this whole coaching thing means or what joining a team really means and like really breaking that down step by step for them. Um, so like you could take one thing a day and think about, okay, what objections did I hear this week? Okay. I heard a money objection. I heard someone scared to post on social media and I heard that someone doesn't have time. So like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm going to get on my stories and talk about one of those things and really break down. Like, this is what works for me. This is how I do it. This is when I do it. And, and you're breaking objections. You're not going to get as many, like, I can't tell you my share carts go a lot from tell me more to sign me up because I've already done this consistent work behind the scenes and it's very clear on what people are saying yes to. So the more open you are, the less objections you're going to get in your conversations. Um, okay. What else? I think really just when I think about my social media, I just think about like emotion. So like, offer it. I posted in um, the coach pod earlier today about like, what are you teaching people versus what are you just like sharing? So like, how can I give somebody a smile today? You know, maybe for me, that's like posting a funny conversation I have with Mark because he's ridiculous and sharing it. Or maybe that is showing a picture of my niece doing something really silly. Or maybe that is showing that I'm real life and like splattered my pepper all over the place last week how does that relate to my business? It shows that I'm human. It shows that I like to have fun. It shows my personality. So think of the emotions you want to evoke on the people that you want to work with, right? If we're just sharing Debbie Downer stuff, probably going to attract Debbie Downers. So not that you have to be perfect and positive all the time, but being really yourself and not holding back allows more people like you inviting in and it's going to push away some people too but that's a good thing because you want to work with people that are like you and get you and want more of how you are um and then when it comes to like inviting and stuff guys stop being bashful I shared in the coach pod this week that I did 100 invites yes I've been doing this for a long time uh I had not one sign up from those 100 invites but I had two girls that joined me five years ago and disappeared that messaged me out of the blue and both signed up Wednesday or uh, Monday morning. So you got to decide what kind of energy you bring. Are you going to post once a week and be the person that's not there? Or are you going to decide, okay, from here on out, I'm going to challenge myself and I'm going to figure out how to use social media in a way that works for me by just showing up each day or showing up four days a week or whatever that rule is for you but people believe you when you're consistent. It's literally the only thing I can say that I've done more than any of you on this call. I've shown up every day for six and a half years and that's why people trust me. So start your trend now, start your track record and say, okay, I'm gonna be the girl that shows up for that person that has nobody now and I'm gonna show her that she can work out at 6 a.m. or that she can work out at 10 o'clock at night or that she can be fun and still struggle with her mental health, or that she can embrace a community even though she doesn't have solid friendships, whatever your story is, you get to be that light for somebody. And social media is just the way we get to connect. It's where we all are right now because we got nowhere else to be. So, all right, I'm gonna open it up for questions. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Obviously there's lots of tips and tricks with social, but it's more just going onto your page and saying, I'm going to be a great friend today and I'm going to find some friends. That's how I think of it. What questions do y'all have? All right, Jamie says, how far ahead do you plan your timeline posts? I do not plan. So quick tip, I'm like a very in the moment, uh, emotional kind of person. 
but I have a note in my phone that I post a lot of ideas so that when I have a day, I'm like, I don't know what to write. I can go there and pick something that's like a quote from a book I liked or just something I heard or whatever that will spark something for me. Um, Moana said, my biggest question is what types of genuine comments are you making on people's posts? All right, stop thinking you're not genuine because you're awesome. So think about it of like, what would you say to your friend if she posted that? Like if someone's on your page or you're following them or you like them already, they're already your friend. So what would you say to them? They saw, they have a cute dog. Oh my gosh, your dog's so cute. What kind is it? How long have you had it? How old is it? What kind of food does he eat? I'm thinking of getting one. All this, like, there's no right or wrong thing. So take that pressure off of yourself. What other questions? You guys can totally unmute. Ask away. I'll just add something to that, Danielle. Um, one thing that I found works really well for me, well, one, Moana, going back to your question, like, you'll know when you find someone and connect with someone who like you have a lot in common with there's not that pressure to come off as genuine just because it'll be really easy to talk to them about that one thing you have in common with um and two I usually go for like messaging people in their inbox instead of commenting on a post because I think when you message people on Instagram, just that you had that interaction, um, it'll pop like your stories up to the top of the story feed and even your post to the top of their feed, just because Instagram saw that like you guys interacted. So you must, you know, be connected or whatever. Um, and then it's just kind of like easier to hold a conversation when you're talking to them in their inbox rather than just like a comment on a picture. I would agree with that, Morgan. Like after. So here's a trick for you guys. It's getting a little in the weeds, but every time after I post something on Instagram, I go be social on social media. So for 15 minutes, I'll set a timer and I'll like and comment posts. And I'll also go through my stories and just comment on things that it, just being a friend asking questions because social media wants you to be social, right? So um, that's a little quick trip, trick for you. Uh, Sarah said, look how easy it was to talk about boobs the other day. Yes. I see this is, this is the stuff like stop worrying about what people think, right? Like your people are going to love the shit that you guys just let out. And okay. I'm not saying air out all of your dirty laundry because there is definitely a line of what you share. Like maybe people don't need to know about your kid's poop in the toilet or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Moms. I don't know. Maybe that's a good topic for you. For me, it's not, but Stuff like that that you think is stupid is stuff that brings people laughter, right? How, how many of us would love to get off a call and see 50 comments? I opened my phone watching The Bachelor. I was like, why is there 50 messages in my inbox? And then I saw it was about boobs and I just like freaking loved it, you know? Like, how can you not laugh? So I would challenge you guys to like share those moments because everybody needs a laugh right now. What else? Was this helpful? Did you guys learn something? And I mean, I guess the last thing I'll leave you guys with is I'm always learning new stuff. I know by no means know everything. You won't see 10,000 plus followers on my page, but the people that I have found on social media are some of my very best friends. And I say that with all my heart because every day you don't share or you don't show up or you don't post, you could be missing out on your like very best friend. So just continue to be courageous, continue to be consistent, continue to be kind and, you're, and like yourself unapologetically. The more you can be, the better because the right people will come into your life and the other people will be pushed away and it's just going to make your business so much more fun, to be honest with you. All right, guys. I love y'all. Next week is our coach panel. So look out for that. And I thank you guys for being here. Tag all your people so we can all reshare. And I'll see you guys next week. Go Rock Team Cup.
Bye, guys. Bye. Have a good night, guys.